I'm going against the wind behind Chang Chuxi and Gong Jun Sator masochism. It's a desperate fight against capital. A while ago, there were rumors about the CP scandal between Chang Chuxi and Gong Jun. Out of curiosity, I took a tutorial on I'm going against the wind and it turned out to be better than expected. The whole drama contains games and calculations, as well as the friendship between young people. The combination of business war and romance is excellent, and the narrative is very bright and amazing. The eldest daughter, whose family is in ruins and has been cheated, tries to jump off a building from the beginning but is stopped by the male protagonist, and then goes back in time to three months ago. It is very eye-catching like the Hong Kong drama Love in Central. In the memory section, we also see how the 30-year-old clothing brand Freaky collapsed. Zhang Hu, played by Zhuang Chuxi, is an arrogant and willful young lady, but she is also smart, strong, calculating, and has great business acumen. Earlier, when she was dealing with the strike of internet celebrity Momo Sakura, she not only tricked her female classmate Xiong Xiaoyong, but also instigated 50 internet celebrities to engage in large-scale live broadcasts to hype up her company and make a lot of eyeballs and money. On the contrary, his father Jan Kishin faced a crisis of frustration. He let out 3 million yuan with a wave of his hand. If he did not write an IOU, he would not repay the loan. He also spent a lot of money every year to maintain the Tengai factory, a domestic shoe brand that has been passed down for a century, just to commemorate the deceased wife. When he can't pay his salary, he can only mortgage his daughter's peripheral capital. Sooner or later something will happen. Out of his trust in his adopted son Gao Yi, Jiang Kishin jumped into the Angsan loan trap. When the capital chain broke, the freaky business empire collapsed. Mr. Jiang, who couldn't bear the pressure, suddenly passed away. The rich daughter Jiang who was completely reduced to an orphan. She was confused and faced with a mess. How would it end? A set of comparison shots is even more ironic. Su Si, the star-studded executive director, successfully settled in the new company and cut the celebration cake with one knife. He has become a financial upstart and is preparing to resell the non-performing asset land of Free Lin. He is full of high spirits. On the contrary, Jiang Hu, a down-and-out young lady dressed in black, gave up her right to inherit the Free Lin inheritance and was taken advantage of by others to make a fortune. She attended the funeral in a daze, experienced the loss of her father, bankruptcy, betrayal and separation, and her life completely hit rock bottom. Death and rebirth, in the depressing and heavy drumbeat, resonate with the heart. Gong Jun played Su Si very accurately. The domineering CEO with a sharp tongue and arrogance stopped the heroine from jumping off the building because if you jump off the building while you are jumping, the land will drop 10 points tomorrow. This is to use profits to dissuade her from jumping off the building suicide. In fact, he has a small calculation. After all, Jiang Hu is really dead. Since no one pays rent, he can't chase beautiful women. Faced with the controversy over reselling non-performing capital, Su Si defended his mother, borrowing arrows from straw boats and horse racing by Tianji were also opportunistic, and they were classics passed down through the ages. This young man who first targeted the Jiang family's Tengai land and then purchased the old shoe factory Buyangsha, even the old factory founded by his own parents, was a bit like a profiteer. The down-and-out young lady sold her own brand name shoes and bags, and groveled to tie her best friend's shoelaces. Then she borrowed money from here and there to buy the Tengai shoe factory that was on the verge of bankruptcy. She faced internal and external problems such as a shortage of funds and a lack of staff. Kama start a difficult business. Su Si and Zhang Hu, the handsome and beautiful protagonists, are like a sharp contrast between a pair of second-generation factory workers. One wants to survive the fittest to cut leaks to make money, and the other wants to fight to the death to revive the old factory. They meet because of land rent, so they have calculations and exploitation of their rivals, and they also gradually fall in love and have entangled interests. It's exciting enough. During this period, Su Si always analyzed the pros and cons in a sarcastic manner, repeatedly breaking Zhang Hu's unrealistic dreams. Even though the other party promised to sell 20,000 pairs of shoes, he only waived the rent for a few years and asked for 51% of the other party's shares, which was equivalent to Ming grabbed the power of life and death at the Tengai Shoe Factory. In the process of starting a business in Jiang Hu, she not only ran around, but also put aside her arrogance to lobby, attracting her uncle, the factory director, her financial stepmother, her sales aunt and even formed an alliance with her creditor Yang Jian. She even set her sights on the designer Xiong Xiaoyong, 
who was at odds with her, and insisted on poaching this talented girl to come to her rescue. Shi Yong Xiaoyong, played by Wu Zhuan Ai, is not only an internet celebrity V, but also a creative and enthusiastic designer of national fashion sports shoes. It's a pity that she offended a big company and was fired because of her support for Tengyu. She joined a new company and became an internet celebrity with countless fans, but she signed a contract for five years. When she was kidnapped by Capital, it was almost impossible to change jobs. In order to get Shi Yong Xiaoyong to join him, Zhang Hu first stole her shoes to make new products, then gave him money to prove his worth, and finally asked Susi to persuade his ex-girlfriend to terminate the contract. The heroine also got Shi Yong Xiaoyong's award-winning works from his old company. With all kinds of inducements and persuasion, she managed to win over the talented girl. The company focused on internal production and fired the sneaky executives. Jiang who asked Shi Yong Xiaoyong to design two high and low-priced shoes, and used pre-sales to prove that there was a market for cheap shoes. Even for her enemy Gaoyi shopping mall event, she rented a quarter of the venue for promotion and marketing, and relied on large-screen advertisements and a surprise player to win. In addition to the difficult entrepreneurial and business war parts, there are also two love scenes in the middle, which are also full of hardships. Su Si and Jiang Hu initially schemed and exploited each other, but the man gradually became fascinated by the beautiful and intelligent woman. In addition, the latter forcefully kissed him while drunk, which made him pursue her and secretly help her. Shi Yong Xiaoyong and Yang Jian are brothers and sisters who were childhood sweethearts. The older brother is a warm-hearted man with a love mind. Because his stepfather always beats her after drinking, the girl is resistant to the stepfather's son and has a crush on the handsome male classmate Gao Yi. When she learned that Gao Yi was getting married, she angrily got married to Yang Jian. There was impulsiveness, anger and unwillingness here. The couple once had a falling out over Tang Yu's acquisition of the team. Later, Shi Yong Xiaoyuan finally figured out that it was not Gao Yi who saved him in the past, but Yang Jian. She instantly put aside her psychological burden and stayed with Yang Jian until the end of her life. Wu Zuan Ai in Gao's hiding played the true love very well, from silently guarding to no longer dodging, which is touching. Ten Gao went from a shoe factory on the verge of bankruptcy to a new enterprise with booming sales. It finally ushered in its centenary celebration. Who knew it would be a major event with fierce conflicts? Jiang who actually went crazy with alcohol on the stage. She cursed and slapped Su Si. She wanted Tang Yu to be acquired. She bombarded her uncle and other insiders for not saying anything, and was dissatisfied with being manipulated by capital. The other party has 51% of the shares, and the land is in the hands of others. The heroine has no say in Tang Yu and can only retire sadly and lose her soul. In the meantime, Jiang who had his wisdom teeth removed to relieve pain, listened to the doctor's advice, and witnessed the death of the old dog. It seems that she should accept all the cruel things that happen when the old and the new change. After Jiang Hu left Teng Yu, he went to find another job at Bu Yangsha, a century-old cloth shoe factory. After Jiang Hu knew that her father had stolen Yi Guiming's patent, the girl easily sold 30,000 pairs of shoes. First, she forced the old factory director to hire her as the marketing director. Then she used online live broadcasts and designed new shoes to carry out drastic reforms. The factory director Yi Guoming played by Piki Liu seems to be stubborn and old-fashioned and does not understand the new power of the internet, but he knows right from wrong. He saw that the heroine's investment program was highly hyped, but his refusal to live broadcast ruined sales and credibility, so he simply abdicated in favor of someone else. He was able to support the straight daughter of his enemy as the new factory director, showing great courage and courage. Jiang Hu once had a crush on Gao Yi but he didn't expect that the latter would engage in a scam, which led to his father's death and the collapse of the family business. She and the other party had a relationship that was constantly being resolved and messed up. It wasn't until Jiang Hu found out that the other party's father had Alzheimer's disease that she discovered that her father told Qi Sheng that he had made the other party commit crimes and go to jail. After Gao Yi's wife died of illness, the grudges were cleared. Exclamation mark. After Su Si was dumped by Jiang Hu, his conscience finally found out. He had a showdown with his boss, Du Wei, and not only purchased the shares of Tang Gao himself, but also gave the merger another reasonable win-win solution. He pointed out that there must be a bottom line when playing finance. He was disgusted by the ordinary news that his boss had released free Lin non-performing loans, which was harmful to people. After buying back Tang Yu, Jiang Hu was once asked the question Tang Yu or Su Si, and resolutely chose Tang Yu. 
In the end, he saw that the wishful man sent him a luxury car, used shoes, and shares in a shoe factory. Comma she heard this question again, and the answer became Susie. The handsome man and the beautiful woman embraced each other romantically, and the happy ending ended. This inspirational drama seems to have the ending of a fairy tale, but in fact, under the pressure of capital and the calculations of profiteers, Susie, the domineering president, did not fall in love with her and buy stocks vigorously. Launching a new product that is a national trend, it is difficult for the heroine to be two bosses, and even harder to make a comeback. On the road to the re-emergence of freedom flag bosses and the re-emergence of Tang Yu and Bu Yangsha, businessmen such as Su Si, Zhang Wenchen, Du Wei, Tang Ya, Song Zhi, etc. are all thinking about taking advantage of the situation to make all kinds of quick money, and they are trying to influence the world. They are making things difficult in every possible way. Even internet celebrity live broadcast girl Momo Sakura is thinking about hype, earning traffic and money, and has forgotten her original intention. Zhang Chenggong, Wang Ji, Gao Xu Guang and other veteran actors made guest appearances, and their acting skills are not bad, but Zhang is still hotter for his age. Duang Xuan's guest appearances ad also highlighted the theme by saying, if a career is to be successful, it requires dedication and sacrifice. Only when you make sacrifices can you know what to give up and what not to give up, especially in relationships. The new generation of entrepreneurs inherits the original aspirations of the older generation and realizes their own ideal growth path. It requires not only funds, design, and technology, but also the strength, courage and persistence of the team, and more importantly, the help and luck of noble people. Otherwise, the heroine will encounter all kinds of difficulties and dangers, and it will be difficult to counterattack all the way, which is very scary if you think about it. The narrative of this drama is smooth and compact. The characters are three-dimensional and multifaceted, and new elements such as online live broadcast and variety show hype have been added. Zhang Chuxi's cool and bold performance is definitely the highlight. Although I'm going against the wind has some flaws, this unpopular business war drama is more powerful and surprising than the recent hit News Queen.